Hi, this is Deborah, and today I want to talk about people pleasers. I know a couple of them, and I realize I've always been a people pleaser. And these people pleasers, uh, and I'm speaking about my own self, we get walked over a lot. We get taken advantage of, we're called too nice, we say yes before we think about it. And I think the number one rule with people pleasers is don't give an answer to people. If you have to give them something saying, I'm going to think about it and then sleep on it for 24 hours because you can get yourself into some situations where you can't get out of. And people pleasers, I guess another word would be wussies or the P word, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, you don't have a voice when you are a people pleaser um people know it they know that they can take advantage of you so make a conscious effort to say i will think about it and then get back to them the next day don't don't just um ignore them because some people there is circumstances where you could help somebody else but uh a lot of people pleasers, I think, have been abused in their life and, um, you know, but there's, there's the other flip of the coin where you always should be nice to people. You can be nice and say no. It's always about the tone of your voice. I've tried to always be nice to people because let me tell you what, when it's all said and done, um, you never know who in your family or your friend circle is going to be there for you and you might be mean to the very one that would stand beside you through thick or thin so it's a good idea to try to be nice to everybody but you need to be firm people respect others who say what they mean and mean what they say so um yeah so and it's a it, it's a bad thing to be a people pleaser let me tell you I was one my whole life and it didn't get me anywhere. I just got run over, taken advantage of, um, you know, people want to borrow money from you. They want to borrow your car. No, you got to look out for yourself because if you don't, especially if you're not married or single, no one else is. I mean, really, when it comes down to it, think about it this way. If you were to get in an accident, who would you call? Or if you're in the hospital having surgery, who are you going to call? And you, you, you think the ones that would be there by your side, they don't show up at all. So the ones who do show up, those are the ones who really care about you. So, like I said, being a people pleaser is not a good thing. I consider it a negative. But you never want to burn your bridges. And I really mean that. When you burn your bridges... You can't usually cross back over that bridge once you've told somebody totally off. I I have taken a lot of um, stress by just letting it go or whatever. But the thing of it is, when uh, if you let too much go, it eats away at you, your soul and everything. So you can be firm and polite, but just watch your, your tone of voice.